Hello and welcome to episode 37 of Regular Features and who's this? We've got a stranger who's joined us today. It's Matt Lees, everybody. He's come back. Hello. Yeah. Well, I've been uh, busy. I've been all over the place. Yeah, no, I missed two episodes in a row. I think that's the new record, isn't it? The two best ones. The two best ones. Yes, the previous record mm. was one episode in a row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. You fucking smashed, smashed it. it. Out of the park. Double. 200%. percent 200%. I, I knew we fucking would. I knew we would. Um, I've been to America, so my feature this week is um, America is an awful place and the people are terrible. That's yeah, what that's what we've all done. We've all every time any of us have been away, we've got to come back and gone. America's fucking shit. Yeah, but we, we, we talk about it in slightly different ways. Yeah. This time. <laughs> Mine and Finnis was uh, Northerners on American flights are pricks. So yeah, yeah, specific. Right. I'm the only person never to complain about an American person. I love the Americans. My name is Steve, and I'm I'm going to see uh, the Batman Dark um, Dark the Night Dark Knight Rises tomorrow. So I'm I'm going to try and predict. What I might see in the Batman film. Ooh. My name's Gavin Murphy, and I saw Batman yesterday. So what I'm going to do is go through. No, you can't plot do that. Point by plot. <laughs> Why you did it for the Apes for him? <laughs> yeah, but that was I'm, like I'm weeks doing after Batman. It came yeah, out. but that's Planet of the Apes. That's yeah. a shit film. Whoa! Like I want to watch Batman. I'm not yeah, bothered my, about not seeing my, Planet my of the Apes. My feature is things that didn't make sense about the Dark Knight Rises. Really? No. I was going <laughs> to say I'm, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, my feature is show and tell, including a cock. Are you showing or telling? Mm. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Stick around, of... maybe you'll find out. <laughs> tell a chance. cock. Chance would be a fine thing. I'm going to talk briefly about Fifty Shades of Grey before just asking you what word porn you've ever wanked to. Ah, oh, mm. good one. Lovely. <laughs> Right, so I'm back again, obviously. That's nice. Oh, um, I don't milk it, mate. All right, and uh, <laughs> my feature this week, before I start, actually, I've just, just got a bit, bit of doing house. Um, I did notice I was trying to organise my Google Drive this week, which is the new name for Google Docs. Google I've organised all my things into years. Ah, clever. I can't think of any more useful way of do, doing that. Well, when they, <laughs> they reorganise it so it's all, like, alphabetical and... Yeah, it's not that. I've just got weird stuff from like two years ago. The amount of files I've got called ass. But yeah, I found a Google Doc on my system called Hello, I am Matt Lees. And it says, <laughs> Would you like to ask me a few questions? <laughs> I am Matt Lees. Here are some facts about me. One, I have never got anything bigger than a snooker ball up my Botswana. Two, <laughs> I call my anus my Botswana. <laughs> Three, I am pleased to meet you. <laughs> now, have you I don't know who, <laughs> who did this, but I have a feeling <laughs> that he may be sitting very close to me right now. <laughs> I never thought that. Oh, what a beautiful thing this is. When your ghosts come back to haunt you. <laughs> How long ago did you do that? Not very long ago. You might want to check your chat logs where I, <laughs> or I talk to Steve going, Hey, Steve, I'm just going to talk to loads of people from the industry as Matt because he's left himself logged in and I'm going to ruin it. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh, God. But uh, all I've got is, um, oh, no, I can't do this, because if he is logged in somewhere else, this chat will be appearing in his window <laughs> yeah, live. Yeah, and so. I'll be going, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so I just thought I'd leave you a nice little Google Doc about well, you sticking snooker balls up your Botswana. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was nice, because the thing is, hello, my name is Matt Lees. This is exactly the sort of um, yeah. names I do use for saving <laughs> files. <laughs> so I was like, what is this? And I was like, no, hang on, I didn't write that. Um, but anyway, that's not my feature. That I came just, back, um, I was looking for my passport day, found my passport on my desk, and someone had stuck a picture from uh, Poultry Monthly <laughs> as my picture in the, uh, in the passport. Who could that and have I was been? like, oh, well, I know exactly who's done this. When I was here, I was like, ah, oh, well done, Lark. And he was like, that wasn't me, but I wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was brilliant. It was just a little duckling. <laughs> <laughs> poultry offender on the loops. Yeah. But yeah, my feature this week is, I, I've just come back from America, and... I was on a flight. I had to go from Texas to San Francisco for about four hours, and I stupidly just chucked my bag in a hole just on the in the in the bit above. You threw the it. Rack. No, no, no. I just put it in the the closey door bit. Oh fuck's sake! Overhead compartment. Overhead, Overhead compartment. compartment. I put it in that, and I then sat down and thought, "Well, it's fine. I'll get my Kindle out or something in a minute after we've taken off." Then it proceeded to have like turbulence. Not much. Mild turbulence for five you minutes. You personally had turbulence. Yeah, <laughs> personally, yeah. <laughs> the flight. But uh, it wasn't that bad. It was like, after a couple of minutes, it was fine, it was smooth. But minutes? The, the captain, yeah. 
fuck that. I'd have been ringing my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Minutes. <laughs> the captain was freaking out. Are trying out? to shag the woman next to me? He goes, come on, you fucking fridge. We're going to die. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> what? <Minutes>. Airplane. <laughs> um, but, yeah, basically... The captain was freaking out and said, oh, no, captain doesn't feel it safe. So we couldn't get up for the whole flight. We had Whole to, flight? But it was only a four-hour flight. Okay. But we couldn't get up and walk around the cabin and get oh. things from the for the whole flight. And the problem with that was it was a four-hour flight, so we didn't have any TVs or anything. So literally all, all I had was what was in the seat in front of me, which was me, an in-flight magazine and this Sky Mall catalogue, which the Sky Mall catalogue said on it, you know, oh. I love Sky Mall. Free copy, take it. We'll replace it. And I... I I did take it because there are some things in here that were brilliant and hopefully it won't just have been my mental... You should have bought a new Kindle from Skymall. I could have done. <laughs> uh, but they weren't doing the shopping trolley because uh, the captain course, was yeah. freaking out. But anyway... I've never seen this. Is it just like a regular Argos tech catalogue? Well, no, it? it's specifically... It's more like the um, shitty one that you get through the door, like Better Wear or something, you know? It's just oh, like, oh, right, right. Do you mm. want a million pegs? But it's all duty-free <laughs> because, uh, yeah. because it's being sold in the sky where yeah. there are no laws. Yeah. So it's all duty-free, <laughs> um, but it's duty-free bollocks. It really is. It's specifically <laughs> a shop that is just on United Airlines. And... I mean, it's amazing. Every different page has a different heading, like Gadget Universe, Gravity Defier, which is for advanced There's, technology Now you footwear. can escape the power of gravity. <laughs> it yeah. says that. It actually says so that. Bad. As about time. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, I was reeling. It was the most entertaining thing I'd ever seen. I had people kept coming over to me and saying, have you, you, seen, have you seen the cat in the rocket yet? And I was like, what? And they was like, oh my God, there's a cat in a rocket. But no, basically... Well, what's, what's for sale, the cat or the rocket? Is I it a cat can't. that likes to fly rockets? I, it's is it? not actually a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got rockets, it's trained, fully trained to pilot them. <laughs> rockets not included. NASA cat. <laughs> Basically, what I've done is I've, I've tagged up a few things that I thought were particularly are special. Are these real things? Or no, they... these are all real things. Okay. Um, because I, I literally, I read the entire of this back to back because I was that fucking bored. Um, because Game of Thrones was locked in the overhead compartment. So the first thing that really drew me back was... Um, the Scantastic Drink Recipe Teas. Now, these are a Sky Mall exclusive, which means you Fuck. can only buy these if you're on a plane, on a United Airlines yeah. plane. Teas is in T-shirts. Yeah, T-shirts. Okay, right. right. No, no. Teas in me. I'm, st I'm still locked on the fact he says the first things that drew me back, and I all I can think of is his foreskin yes. now. Yes, <laughs> I was thinking that as well. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't use phrases properly. People, about, people quite rightly think about your dick. What did you say just now about monkeys? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. I don't give a donkey. I don't give, I don't give a monkey. No, no, I a haven't monkey. I haven't done this in monkeys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't give a monkeys is correct. Yeah. yeah, I don't give a donkeys. I don't give this in monkeys. I don't give a donkeys. I, I think it's my, my inability to use language properly that makes me an intriguing writer. <laughs> um, anyway, basically, these two T-shirts, one of which has a, a parrot on it holding a mojito, inexplicably. A mojito? Yeah. <laughs> How can a parrot hold no. a mojito? Oh, like that. Basically, oh, these, <laughs> these T-shirts. They're, they're T-shirts, and this isn't, this isn't that, like, hilarious or anything. It's just pure I don't mind awful. that T-shirt. No, 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 wait for it. You will mind it in a second, because it just looks like a fun picture of a T-shirt. But no, slap bang in, in both the T-shirts in the middle are QR codes that lead you to the recipe for the cocktail. Oh. oh. How fucking lame is that? And it's 25 quid for a t-shirt. No one uses QR codes, so that's why it's a, a Sky Mall exclusive. Well, that's a bit of a downer, that one. It's, it's not like that. On the next page, of course, we've got Protica Protein. And this is basically protein in anything you can imagine. You can get, <laughs> you can get protein twist is candy in a pot. You can get protein uh, jelly, like jello, as they call it. Protein Angel ketchup. Delight. Each protein of these delight. things... Yeah, pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much protein energy. Like, each thing contains, like, 15 grams of protein. Like, there's protein ketchup sachets. Wow. 15 no. grams of protein in ketchup. Forget eating healthily, just put protein ketchup on your s slice of butter. Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. And I'm, I'm going to read you the description first, and I'm going to let you look at the picture. Melt away stress and tension. Enter a state of euphoria. It's a vibrator. It's like having a thousands of tiny fingers stimulating your scalp. It's thousands of vibrators. <laughs> <laughs> disconnect from the world. <laughs> disconnect from the world, you know. Release matrix. stress. It's a matrix. <laughs> and tension from your everyday life. Euphoria is only moments away. Slip on our state-of-the-art, scientifically designed Soma Wave helmet to feel your stress dissolve into the ultimate relaxation experience. Isn't that the plot of Vanilla Sky? It pretty much <laughs> is, yeah, without Tom Cruise. Um, but yeah, the, it says use it at your desk, use it on your commute, 
or while you relax in front of the TV. This is what it looks like. On the like. commute. This is what it looks like. <laughs> wow. It looks like the top half of Robocop's head. Yeah. <laughs> looks hell. like a metal cone head. <laughs> it's insane. It's it looks just... like it could be just used to shave you as well. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it does look like a cyborg hat. The thing next to you is fucking brilliant. <laughs> like, what's that? It's a bird. <laughs> <laughs> binoculars. Some, they're, bin- <laughs> they're just binoculars, Gavin. That's not oh, amazing. No, it's a bird. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh, Gavin. <laughs> Gavin thinks the most absurd thing on the page is a pair of binoculars. Well, that bird's miles away. <laughs> and now it's big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, don't do it. I'll take the Robocop head, please. <laughs> no, that was just... I, I like the way it suggests you use it on your commute. Yeah, I did side. see someone on my commute once wearing um, a wire pyramid over his head. There are people who believe that pyramids have spiritual power. Oh, it's the energy oh, thing, right. isn't it? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And if you put it over food, the food is preserved for longer and yeah. bullshit like that. That's mental. <laughs> oh, fuck off. A friend of mine's cousin is into it, and a friend of mine's broken his ankle, which is why... I, and uh, we were out, and she put a pyramid over her. He went, what a no, cunt. It's still, still broken. It's still yeah. really, really broken. Uh, she was no, like, yeah, just... but does it feel a little bit better? Can you feel the energy? He was like, is it... no, no. Is it, is it slowly healing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'll be healed in six to eight weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed. Thank the pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just whiz through a couple of n- yeah. other mental things here now. This is great. Look who the trees are rooting for. These Apparently, this is the newest craze in trees outdoor decor. Rooting, rooting for, yeah, yeah. Forest faces, basically. They're just, it's like Mr. Potato Head, but horrible. I think that's quite cool. And you just nail it to trees outside your if house. If you were a kid, though, that'd be quite awesome. No, it isn't awesome. Nailing plastic faces to trees oh, is, is it plastic? fucking weird, man. If you man. live near in, like, an Indian reserve and you want to freak them out. <laughs> Log looks <laughs> horrified, quite rightly. I'm quite horrified. They are worth seeing. The top I'm quite, right co- like I'm quite concerned. That the people hearing us talk can't see them. Well, no, yeah. Can we come? Can we put this in the blog or something? Yeah, yeah no, yeah, I definitely good. will. I, that's the that's the cat in a rocket that we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, actually, What's that doing? up here you can also see um, this is a an artificial area of grass for your dog to shit on. That even has a little fire hydrant built in just to make him feel oh. like it's a real world. If but it's to a UK dog. We know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, they don't have four hundred. It's all about the cat and a rocket, which is available in grey and black as well. That cat looks like it couldn't give a shit about the rocket. For the readers at home, Matt's pointing the magazine towards Steve and Gav, so I'm in the same boat as you. It's, probably, <laughs> it's, it's not fun, is it? It's cat and a rocket. <laughs> cat and a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I apologise if you're listening to this on tube. Um, you, the pictures will all be there. Just use your imagination and give yourself a point out of ten for how close you were for each one. You sounded really confrontational um, when you said use your imagination. Use your fucking imagination! Well, if you Enjoy haven't got it. one, then I you're in the wrong it. place, because <laughs> this is audio. You don't even really know what we look like. You don't know what face I'm pulling now. <laughs> See? Um, people well, buy please. these things. This is a 12-foot tall... Um, uh, Bigfoot. Bigfoot. I want that. Costs about three grand. Shut um, <laughs> so... I want even more now. <laughs> Hang on. If that? you're going to convince me to spend three grand on a life-size Bigfoot, I'm, you're going to have to describe it pretty well. Go for it. I want that. With his characteristically big feet. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, yeah, it doesn't it say, say that. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> Our nearly six-foot-tall garden, yet he will have guests doing a double take as they admire your creative home or oh, garden it's style. it's almost six-foot-tall. Yeah. With alleged sightings the world over, this elusive mythical legend has been captured exclusively for Toscano in quality designer resin and hand-painted for startling, startling realism. The final thing I want to show you on this, it's on a page which is titled, What on Earth? This is fun and delightful diversions. Oh, it's the and wacky this, page. This is the wacky page. My parents buy me shit like this. I, so they've got a like t-shirt the which says Honey Badger Don't Care, which I assume is some oh, sort of fucking meme. Um, a funny it is. YouTube video. But this is the one thing I saw in here that I thought actually people might appreciate. It's only a tenner. It's called a hot dog leash. Now, as you can see, it's a dog leash. The, the leash is made up of like a chain of sausages. <gasps> And it says, the description is great, and uh, this really solidified to me the, the, the feeling that whoever had to write the copy for this magazine got increasingly bored. Um, it just says, it's funny even if you don't have a wiener dog. If you do, then it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't mind that. I'd buy that. No, I don't mind that. That was, that was a light-hearted end just to give I you I also faith. don't mind the Bigfoot thing. Well, you kind of should mind that. Because if I have three grand, well, that's we, where it'd be going. If we pull our cash, we can... Hang on, the we've got a sponsor, next, we've got a sponsor next week. What, what's he sponsoring us? How much? 20 quid. Well, that goes straight in the Bigfoot fund there, not the booze fund. Oh, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> right, yes. The thing is, you have to bear in mind that Bigfoot thing, just for anyone reading at home, is that there was a fucking Velociraptor that cost six grand. What? It existed. 
Okay, it's not Bigfoot. <laughs> it's not a Bigfoot uh, 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 fun full anymore. Size. It's a raptor fun. <laughs> <laughs> a full size. We welcome all raptor size raptor donations. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? Owning one of those in your in your garden, and someone said, "Oh, what's that? Oh, it's just a Velociraptor." If I was in a position where I wouldn't mind it financially, and bought, I came back and there was a fucking Bigfoot in the garden, I've got fuck yeah, awesome, yeah. I'm it's living the life. It's it's live. <laughs> 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 let's let's fuck at a point where we can yeah. both see the thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it can see us. Let's fuck on top of the raptor. <laughs> <laughs> it's the just... only safe place. <laughs> <laughs> it's one place where he can <laughs> eviscerate you with his giant claws. <laughs> no one can hurt us here. <laughs> They're not sure if it's real, so they can't stop us. <laughs> I used to live two streets away, and there was a guy who had three uh, dinosaurs in his garden, like massive dinosaurs that he'd made himself out of, like, I don't know, Plaster of Paris or whatever the outside <laughs> Plaster of Paris is. Um, but the opposite of Plaster of Paris <laughs> yeah. is. But he, he, had, he had these three massive dinosaurs. Um, so it's not that mental. That sounds... <laughs> that sounds mental, Gav. That sounds... Genuinely mental. Well, um, if, you, if you take this, but only about two thousand people in this village as well. I'm like, it was a, it was. Was he the my, dinosaur guy? It was how my chance. parents would gauge if we'd been good on an outing or not. We'd be like, can we buy, try buy the dinosaurs? No, you've been little cunts today, so <laughs> you're not seeing the dinosaur. Oh, no, did you have names for people based on their surname and sort of like, and yeah. sort of like, was he Jones the dinosaur? <laughs> No, he was Trevor Dinosaur. Trevor Dinosaur. Was Trevor Dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. oh, I love it. Trev Dinosaur or Trev Dino, because we knew him well. <laughs> yeah. To his friends. Yeah. Oh, man, what, you just made well sound really appealing. But I drove past it when I went home last time, and there's only one dinosaur there. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Dying out at night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> jokes. Actual <laughs> jokes. <laughs> And now it's time for my regular feature, Steve's predictions as to what might happen in Batman Dark Dark Knight Rises. I'm not a massive Batman fan. I've seen the the two. I don't um, understand why people wank off about him. I don't understand why. I am starting to wank off about spiders. Spoilers. I never wank off about spiders. Because it's just it's just an action film, right? I mean, no, you know, you it's, it's, it's bigger film. than that now. But mm. I asked my, I asked my flatmate, and he hasn't seen it yet. And I said I asked him why people concerned about spoilers, and he said because in the comics, yeah, Bane in the comics fucking kills him. Bane, yeah, he breaks, breaks his back, yeah, yeah, and um, he gets replaced by Doctor Strange or something for a while. No, wait, it wasn't Doctor Strange, the Marvel character, or even Doctor Hugo Strange, the guy who is actually a character from Batman. It was Azrael. That's right, I didn't get it wrong because I'm not an idiot, and everyone else can start talking again now, and the weird mismatched background noise can stop. Yeah, well, yeah, so there's, there's, all, there's, there's a very... Bane's like a big thing. Yeah. So yeah. This, I didn't realise that. So my first prediction um, was that because um, no one knows whether or not they're actually going to stick to that canon, whether Bane is going to break I his know. back or not. I think there's going to be a scene where Bane and Batman are doing a fight on top of a rooftop or in a museum or something, <laughs> when Bane punches Batman in the spine, <clears throat> and Batman says, Ah, my spine! You've completely snapped that now. But... Oh, I think I'm okay, actually. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you've actually sorted it out. Oh, so you've got a couple of cricks out of it. I'm, yeah. I'm feeling much stronger now. Yeah. Because it turns out you've I given didn't... me the strength the, the to kill you. To kill you. <laughs> it's, it's like when How you, um, ironic. <laughs> it's like when you get water stuck in your ear, but you don't realise, and then suddenly all that air trapped, and then suddenly you go, boom, and you can hear. And, and like, then you get oh, a little dribble. It's like that, but with like, his spine. With his spine. Yeah. <laughs> and so instead of being able to hear more, he's able to punch more. Arch backwards more. Which yeah. Is crucial Welcome to Mount his, Punch More. Some of his stronger punches require him to arch backwards a little bit. <laughs> boom. Towards the crux of the punch. That's, that's how to do a Batman bat. A punch, you go, whoop. Bump. <laughs> Is Again, there... Matt, you're relying on visuals. <laughs> yeah, but I think with those sound effects, it should be pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to hear my second prediction? Yes, I'd please. Um, at one point, Batman is feeling sad, and then Alfred will walk up and he'll say something like profound. About his parents. <laughs> he'll about, say... About his parents. Um, Stop bringing on appearance, Alfred. For fuck's sake, you know that upsets me. Like, oh, remember when your so parents right, huh? died? It's yeah, right, I do so. remember. Yeah, here's something your dad. So what, mate? So what? Oh, parents your parents used to hate people mourning for the death of their parents, sir. Your parents yeah. are dead, sir. It's the last your parents thing are dead. Oi, oi, sir. Oi, sir. Well, maybe he will have a box with him. 
like a small box, like a jewellery box. <laughs> And he'll he open opens it. it. Five bats fly out. There will be a, a, a single bat would fly out, and um, uh, it'll be something inside of, of sentimental importance to him: an old baseball <laughs> bat or a piece of Battenberg cake. <laughs> and he'll go, "Oh, bats! That's a bloody good reason, actually. Bats. Why? Why haven't they made a spin-off Battenberg that's yeah. blue and white instead of pink and white? I would have called Battenberg. Mm. Jesus, I'd somebody." Buy- Quite a lot of shit when it's tied into films I like, just because I think this is fun, isn't it? Yeah. Um, if there was a Batman, <laughs> Battenberg, Bat- I'd buy Batman. them all. <laughs> I think it's safe to say. Well, Show if you work for Battenberg dot com, then do get on that because yeah, it's on, it's Gavin probably, will buy them all. It's probably in our fucking Skyform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. My next prediction is that Bruce Wayne will have to leave a party because of a crime. <laughs> Uh, I think that might happen. Yeah, I think that's going to happen. Are we having a party? And then conversely, I think a crime will happen at a Bruce Wayne party. Yeah. And Bruce Wayne will feel frustrated (sighs) at his disguise. No, it's more that you can't... This will highlight the differences between Bruce Wayne and Batman. I really hate (laughs) that when that happens, though, when you're at a party and a crime happens and you you know you have to go and turn into a superhero, but... It happened in the last one, didn't it? With Joker. Yeah. yeah, it's so annoying. Dracula like, showed up, fucked everything uh, up, didn't he? Yeah. They're having a nice little time. Yeah, I was yeah, having a party once, again. and some, I caught someone stealing my High Fidelity DVD. He just put it in his jacket, and I went up, and went, Oi, that's my High what? Fidelity DVD. A crime at your party. What, You're like Bruce what, Wayne. What are you doing? And he went, Oh, yeah, we just like, we just fancy watching it. I was like, Yeah, I might fancy watching it tomorrow, though, might I? And he was like, Would well, you mind if you borrow it? I was like, no, you're not borrowing it now, are you? Yeah. And, uh, you nicked he, it. He was like, yeah, right, chill out, mate, chill out. Oh, uh, yeah, and what's like, fucking wrong with you, man? Dick. And he was like a boyfriend of one of Lou's friends. And, uh, not anymore. And the, the ne- when I woke up the next day, the first thing I thought of, go straight to the DVD shelf, he'd fucking taken the DVD. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So still, even I, knowing... never, I never got it back. And I, I've met him since a couple of times. He's gone, still got your high fidelity, mate. Sorry about that. What? <laughs> but it's wow. all right. What's I'm, his name? I'm going to his, uh... <laughs> name him. Dan- Daniel. I don't know what he wants. It's something Greek. You're going to, you go to his I'm house. Fucking, I'm, no, I'm going to his wedding in August. Fuck I'm going to yes. fucking steal everything's on <laughs> nail down. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was oh. like, oh no, was this your wedding cake? <laughs> 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 sorry, no, mate. Yeah, just fancy eating it later. <laughs> Cutting it. Oh, sorry, did you want to cut this later? I've been cutting it all afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> stuff I get mine is structural integrity of his wedding. Yeah, thing. do loads yeah. of stuff that none of it can legally get you in trouble, but will really, really fuck up his wedding. No, 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 I'm getting in trouble. I'm yeah, getting... fuck right. Honestly, no, I'm no, getting get... trouble. Don't get in legal trouble. Just, My, to, you know. It's, I think it's like one of those Greek weddings where there's going to be free booze and stuff, and if what? I see free booze, it's just ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I think <laughs> when it gets true, to yeah. the, is there any reason why they shouldn't get married? Yeah. That's the yes. ideal time to he's bring up a high fidelity DVD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, he's a criminal. He should be in jail. I'll just throw <laughs> the high fidelity DVD <laughs> at the back of his head. Yeah. <laughs> now he's dead. Just, Marry that, you stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Marry a dead man, you perverse whore. <laughs> no, it was funnier than I did, you? How funny is it now? <laughs> God, she's complicit, though. She's probably watched it with him. They oh. were both pissing themselves laughing when they stole it and that's why i thought like i was out of my mind it was about half six in the morning they were like oh, look at that stealing Woof. not on batman <laughs> <laughs> okay here's the thing i've forgotten about batman does commissioner gordon know who batman is no doesn't okay right i think commissioner gordon's going to get shot in this film this is the real, this is the real prediction. Didn't he get and shot then, in the last one? Uh, he he always getting shot, shot, isn't shot. he? But he gets shot to death in this one. <laughs> oh. And as he's dying, Batman takes off his mask and says, Commissioner Gordon. No, he has to do it in his... Commissioner Gordon. Gordon. Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon. Then he takes off his mask and goes, It was me, Bruce Wayne, the whole time. <laughs> oh, ah! you better go through this dying log now, you hear? Otherwise, <laughs> oh no! Looks down at Commissioner Gordon and just like put handcuffs on him, going, "I wasn't dead." Batman, Butler Batman. My last prediction um, is that at one point, this is like a, this, if it's not in the film, I'm sure it's going to be in a little deleted scene in the background <laughs> of one of the scenes. You, if you blink, you'll miss it. Okay. Blink and you'll miss it. But Catwoman will peek out from a dustbin, <laughs> the dustbin lid on her head. And she'll go, 
Meow. Ja, det er jo lavet Ja, det er jo lavet ind. Blink and you'll miss it. Blink and you'll miss it. One of, the, one, of, one of those is correct, and it's that one. <laughs> I mean, how many of those are you actually expecting to come true tomorrow? All of them. If you, when you watch it, you'd be punching the sky. You'd be like, yes! yes every time I see one of those things happen, I'll shout. Fucking on the bitches, looking at the pictures. I've got a feature. It's quite a small feature, but is it? Because look at the size on this motherfucker. Whoa! What? A lady hugging a cock. It's a lady hugging a cock. Oh, yeah. and it's a bottle opener. It's a bottle well. opener. Oh, sp- yeah. just a bottle opener, lady hugging a cock. No, it's a magnet as well. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit. Hello, show you could, tell. You could put that on your fridge and have a woman yeah. hugging a cock on your fridge and you could open bottles with it. Yeah. The I like the idea that you'd like to... to that anyone normal would have on their fridge. A... Oh, that's straight on my fridge. I can't wait to get <laughs> home. How <to> <laughs> oh, you just got it today? Yeah. What Someone a... gave it to me as a present. My freelancer, who I have sometimes half in, he went to Portugal and he brought me this as a present. That's awesome. Yeah. Good feature. <laughs> I'm not gonna features. Well, which brings me possibly into my feature. Yay! Hooray! <laughs> That's a pretty weak archer. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> Yay! Yeah. But yes, it's uh, Fifty Shades of Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I downloaded a PDF of Fifty Shades of Hooray because I am not putting money into that virgin's purse. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, but, quite a tight purse as well. Well, yeah. I mean, she, she's had a few thoughts about what it might be like to go with a man. She's jotted them down furiously. Mostly and, bum stuff, isn't it? And to be honest, I'm a man. I I don't do any of that, so I think it's it's horribly unrepresentative. Why? I just just why not? It's horribly unrepresentative, horribly unrepresentative of you and what you do. <laughs> yeah. Precisely, I'm a man. I isn't don't that, do it. Therefore, anyone who does it must be fucking weird. <laughs> no, yeah, that's 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 my exact angle. Yeah, I, guess. I think yeah. it's there to be hey, messed with. Isn't let's it? have a straight <laughs> let's have a straight man anus off. Forget my feature. Anuses, good or bad? <laughs> good. <laughs> I think they're pretty cool, but no one seems up for it. Anyway, that's enough of that one. On to, uh, <laughs> on to who yours. Good save. Well, basically, reading it made me wonder about my own sort of, like, word porn that I read as a kid. But then I thought, I could, that's not a feature, is it? Just suggesting a conversation. So let's get around to the conversation after I've done some perfunctory attempts at interaction with you cunts. You put the funk in the perfunctory. Oh, yeah. yeah. His three pairs of comments. Which one is from Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> And which one have I done as an insulting riposte to the shit quote that precedes it? It's that was a clue. Yes. There's your clue. <laughs> yeah. That's how much I'm taking this we get seriously. Something the other way first. Yes, yes, yes. Is Fifty Shades of Grey shit? I was scooting through the PDF for a long time before she even got into bed. And ba- there was a scene where she was dancing and all of her ambitions were fading away because she was drinking. Yeah. He, she woke up in his bed. And on, honestly, this is through two minutes of scooting through a PDF and I, I've got an idea of what's going on. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, well, then she woke up in bed and he was like, no, you didn't vomit, but so- you got, you made me cross. If you were, if you belonged to me, you wouldn't be able to do that sort of thing. And she said, well, I don't belong to you, but inside someone thinks that perhaps you do want to belong to him. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, so it's... It's not well it's, written. No, it's well, not. Okay. That's that's about literally what I read. <laughs> so which of these quotes do you think are from the book? I'm crap at DIY. I leave all that to my dad. I'm much more of a curl-up with a book in a comfy chair by the fire kind of girl. Or is this real? I like a nice glass of wine and good company because I am, in essence, a facile cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's good. Oh, God, I've realised that, I obviously... Was, I don't know anything about Fifty Shades of Grey, because I was like, well... Yeah, but you know the answer, like, don't you? Yeah, it's, 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 very it's the good. first one, but... <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, he whispers. He has one arm around me, clasping me to him, while the fingers of his other hand softly trace my face, gently probing. Ooh, you don't probe a face. You probe exactly. You don't probe a face, do you? No, because no, I mean, it's really not, invasive. It's something where, nudging. Yeah. Like, well, you know where all the features are on a face. But also, the point about probing is it's something that I almost like unknown. Blind. Like it's almost like you might yeah. probe somebody's naughty bits because you can't see them. You're trying to like find out where they are. It's what's a going reconnaissance on. move, isn't it? Yeah, it's, you don't yeah. probe a face because you can see. Perhaps it. it was in the dark. Is that true or is this true? I whap out my tits and he runs towards me with his arms fully extended outwards. 
He gropes my knockers like dough and they make a wicked parping sound that knocks off a copper's helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I'd read the book if it was the same. If yeah. that, that I'd read that, would be wicked. It'd be what, amazing, what kind of fun yeah. sex? I'd write that. And finally... You don't have to answer, Gav, yeah, it's fine. Just, well, I'm yeah, winning, just, I'm winning, so... Yeah, it's right, it's right. It's right for you, because you lose it. It's right. yeah, if you, and you two can't even catch up now, so it's in your interest to just derail the feature. <laughs> <laughs> this stupid competition for jerks. Do it. Only jerks I don't care. Do I don't care. I don't want to do it. Oh, no. Shit now, I, anyway. now I sound like I actually care. Um, which Seriously, I, Which true. I don't. I am nonchalant as fuck. Christian squirts baby oil into his hand and then rubs my behind with careful tenderness. <laughs> From makeup remover to soothing balm for a spanked ass. Who would have thought it was such a versatile liquid? That's wow. real, isn't it? <laughs> That's fucking real, my friends. Oh. Who would have thought? Such a versatile liquid. Jesus, I'll, hey, show, I'll show you a versatile liquid. So what... Does she de what does she demonstrate in the versatility of the baby oil? Baby oil. It's being rubbed on her ass. Yeah, it's a makeup remover <laughs> and a balm for a spanked ass. Thing she's is. implying that she's well, but if I'd read the previous few chapters or well, fucking paragraphs, she's had her ass spanked. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine oh, have spank I hate a light that. spanking I hate that as word. part I of the hate sex? The word spank. Are you so, sure? It's so American. I went through a phase of you not being... You say it in a really, really sexy way, so... Spank. Maybe... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. It's, it's good on and out of peer. Is that true, or is this true? Christian jizzes on my neck. It is wicked. I love it. <laughs> Christian says he loves it too. So we give his nuts ten minutes and get at it again until my fanny feels nice. I'd read that book <laughs> again. Like, can you, seriously. Can you rewrite this entire... Alright, I'm going to. I think this... In I just, this I'd <laughs> like it for you to write genuine erotic fiction to sell to ladies. Alright. Can you do that? How I mean, many words? Is this a commission? <laughs> um, <Officially>. well... <laughs> I'd know. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, that's, well, okay. that's a commission. I'll yeah. self-publish. I'll do it as an iPad on author's yeah. book. Put it on iPad. I'll buy a yeah. copy. I'll buy a copy. Do a Kickstarter, it's fine. Yeah, uh, the best, best King I just, I just want five hundred dollars. <laughs> just have a video of you, just like yes, I fucking I don't know anything about women, but I reckon I can write a good fucking book. You're <laughs> some <laughs> shit I've written. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you give me twenty dollars, I'll come round and read it to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Hundred dollars, I will fucking suck you off. <laughs> <laughs> I just think you should do this. Mate. I think you yeah, should I think start, it's a good idea. Maybe not Indiegogo. Um, Maybe not yeah. sucking off strangers for hundred quid. But you I think that the idea behind it is also we wouldn't be strangers by the time I'd read them my book. <laughs> <laughs> then, no, uh, you really, really could do this. <laughs> I think you should. I think you should start an Indiegogo. How many task. words? <laughs> How many words? Well, I think most people would have finished wanking by about a thousand words, surely. So then an email. Oh, I am. Shall I read you a bit of dialogue yeah. from it? Not yeah. for the sake of thing. Christian has taken me to Seattle this evening. Seattle, yes. Maybe you will then. Oh, I hope so. Will you? Will you like him then? Yes. Like him enough to? Yes. She raises her eyebrows. Wow. Oh. She raises her eyebrows. Fuck, that means ribbon. It's two eyebrows. Girls. Is ribbon. Just say you like him enough to. Ooh, don't say it. E. There's sexy sex in the sea. It's prim. It's very sexy. In the oh no, but yeah. Samantha oh, was a good it. character. Yeah, no, she was because she, she was, was the one that cut out all that shit and went. Oh, oh I, I like to fuck a dick. I fuck a little dick. Smoke a little crack. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke a little crack. Suck a little dick. <laughs> Samantha's show. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't do a spill over that, they're fucking idiots. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's that they went for Mario. But no, no, Did you I want agree. to ask us what we've wanked off at? I mean, the second part of my feature, um, what have you wanked off to that isn't a video? That's life. Take a break. Like, <laughs> all those shits. Yeah, but that's still <laughs> pictures, <laughs> words. No, 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 I mean words, like letters. Like, oh, my, my true story. My dad yeah, sexually was, abused me. Were, all the letters, the sex letters <laughs> at the back like, of, of my mum's magazines. Yeah, they're weird. weird. But if you're fucking 11 and you're looking for someone to wank to and you don't know the internet is a thing, you're just like, what the fuck? Are you just stuck on stick and Did anyone here ever wank to the um, position of the Fortnites in more? We've had this conversation. Yeah, I know. It was but me. I know it. Yeah, it was you. Fucking yes. Yeah. And it was Stuart who drew them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you wanked to what my boyfriend drew. No, no, it was, it was a girl and a boy, though. And I was looking at the girl's sister, so it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I totally wasn't looking at the dick because it was inside her. <laughs> <laughs> so what what wordy wanks have you had matt i don't true. remember <laughs> the exact specifics but i remember it was about a gym teacher and some 
schoolgirls in the showers. Gym. But I think I don't remember. It may well have been a female gym teacher and male gym students, or a female gym teacher and female gym. What about male gym teacher, and male students? You don't I, remember. <laughs> definitely wasn't that. Oh, what was wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> you know this guy. <laughs> you can believe this guy. <laughs> What's the discussion about that, man? You can fuck it. I like the idea oh, that it, wow. it would be... Wow, I'm learning so much about you. You think you know someone. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that it would be homophobic not to be enticed and looking at gay porn yeah. as much as you would. No, it's your face. You're like... like oh, 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 <laughs> no, it's just why would, I, why would I do that? If you're not interested in it, don't do it. What you, well, you, you don't know. remember. Well, no, I do remember. I think, and this seems weird for me, I think it was lesbian. But no, seriously, yeah, do you find do you find that initially when you started delving into the murky world of JPEGs and <laughs> fan fiction that you did gravitate towards um, lesbian stuff just because from people talking at school there seems to be the general consensus that that was like that was like the the best way to do it because then there weren't uh, any cocks involved. No, I've never, I've never, ever, ever not. Like a woman with like a, a strap on dildo fucking another woman. No, no, that's no. I'm not no, talking about that. I'm not talking about that. A woman eating out another woman. They don't want to do that. That's a job for them. <laughs> <laughs> when you've got a penis inside you, you're even forced to enjoy it. So that, even if you what think what's going on here, Cap? Even if you think, oh, this is, just, I, I, this is just a job for me. You're like, well, you've got a cock inside. You must be enjoying it on some level. And that's what I, I like to. I can look in her eyes and know if she's real or not. God, you, wow. is, is this how you validate your own existence, Gav? Yeah. Because it's fucking appalling. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> but, um, well, that's me, guys, right? Take care of <laughs> I'm on this now. I'm a staple. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a shame we're all experienced enough now to not delete podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I did a feature and I liked it. I hope my boyfriend don't mind it. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, what words have you wanked on? Well, similarly, when I was maybe 13, we just had dial-up internet, so it was really difficult to... You couldn't stream videos of sex. And I was just discovering much about the kinds of sex that I was interested in. Ooh. One of the first phones I had had WAP. On it, ah. which was oh, I know. oh wow, <laughs> which was like it's fucking early awesome. <laughs> internet on mobile internet on phones. I used to search for um, sexy stories, and I'd go, I'd find some sexy stories. You type in sexy stories because because WAP was wow. was its own a... form of internet. Like, yeah, there was, every, every, there was no there were no data plans in those days. <laughs> yeah, you had to have like, you had to have a WAP site. You couldn't just have yeah, yeah. you couldn't just go to any website that didn't dot have it. Something yeah, yeah. Dot, yeah. So WAP dot sexy stories dot net. Yeah, so I was on. <laughs> I was on all these, these sexy websites that just had sexy stories on them. It was all pretty summer camp stuff, like lots of sex happening on summer camps. Yeah, it was all very like school and changing camp rooms. Yeah, yeah. Always where the where the age is ambiguous. So you think, depending on what you're into, you can go. Oh, it's a bunch of eight year old kids in a summer <laughs> camp. Or, yeah, 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 or you could go. Oh, it's a bunch of post grad students <laughs> <laughs> at a summer camp. That's good. Yeah. They don't have a weekend retreat for their business firm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're on a saga bus tour. <laughs> <laughs> Team building yeah. exercise. It facilitated paedophiles and legitimate <laughs> the, fa- the power of imagination. Which I. I <laughs> Oh my God, is there anyone who's not going to expose themselves as an absolute fucking monster? <laughs> well, no, 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 I'm, I'm no, saying, that's, that's I'm good saying, idea, I say, okay, I condemn the former, obviously, but I appreciate the cleverness and the ambiguity. Yeah. Oh, yes, I'd yes, love yes, to yes, see yes. a judge one day who's going, look, I'm, I mean, I'm sending you down because you've been looking at all this horrible porn because you could have just gone to a website. <laughs> where it was ambiguous, you could have read the text and could have thought they were two. You basically do. <laughs> if you haven't thought about that, and you've been watching videos of an eight-year-old being raped, so yeah. you're basically saying, in jail, you why know. didn't you just scam? Why didn't you just use your imagination? It's legal. You can do whatever you want in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm imagining fucking you right now. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do. No, I'm not going to jail. Yeah. One of us is going to jail, and it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Take him away, Bayless. <laughs> oh, oh, this fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored of imaginary fucking you. Bring on the next defendant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's four years old. Oh, okay. Buzzkill. <laughs> <laughs> Do you follow any porn stars on Twitter? There was one, but only because I was promised to be funny. It was that ain't Buck Angel, is it? The trans one? 
<laughs> you'd look at me as if I know. Well, I've, it's exactly the kind of thing you'd fucking know, Gav. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair enough. Uh, I thought it was I, Sasha Grey just because there was a brief point in which uh, she became, like, kind of Entourage, respectable yeah. as a as a media character. And so everybody, male who had seen her in a video, just followed me going, oh, yeah, well, no, it's just because she's, she's in Entourage and she's doing all these interviews and stuff with Rolling Stone and that. So, yeah, you know, it's just, just an interesting media thing when actually everyone's just like, oh, she's really fit. I follow quite a lot. I follow quite a lot of my faves. Nikki Hunter, <laughs> follow her. Uh, Brianna Banks, follow her. Um, I Did, follow, what do they I follow, tweet about? Um, You're shameless. Brianna man. Banks is disgusting. <laughs> She's just constantly tweeting about having dicks up her ass. But I do follow one called Alexis Silver, who is my favourite British porn star. And uh, she's out of the game now. I, f- I find this a bit alien. Look, you're my friend. I, 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 f- I still find this alienating. Uh, Alexis Silver, though, she's she's out of the game now. She's tweeting about being a waitress. <laughs> Every day, she's just constantly replying to people saying, like, just going, like, oh, people are going, oh, are you ever going to get him out again? No, I'm a, I'm a waitress now. Well, I can get this out. <laughs> it's like every day she's just responding to people who are just going, oh, we set up a fan club and it's like three followers. <laughs> and it's like a picture a day. And the first couple were just sort of like quite cheeky ones. And then they were just like, obviously no one's regulating it. Next one, just everything. Absolutely everything. <laughs> Absolutely. And she's just constantly, like, she's, she's a gamer as well. She's like always tweeting about being stuck on uh, different levels on Mario Bros. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only game she's got. <laughs> hey, Ali, someone I know liked a picture of a dick on Tumblr and it appeared in my newsfeed on Facebook. I just got a massive picture of a dick in Facebook. I was like, I like that. Well, that's the end of this episode. Coming up next week, we've got... Your special log? It's All my, about you? My sweet 38. If you like John Blythe, then you're going to want to tune in next week. We're going to have a John Blythe special. It's a John oh, Blythe yeah. special. we got back-to-back John Blythe 24-7, 24 hours, 24 hours, 24, 24, oh, 24 you, hours a day. You guys. I'm a little bit annoyed because when, Why? when I got to my age, we didn't do a Gav movies, man. Yes, you, well, yeah, you, bought, um, you bought this up two weeks ago, Gav. You can't fucking blame me for your own idea Steve, hold that's you. caught fire due to my 21. immense popularity. 20, Fuck 21. You. I'll check back on 21. I'm pretty sure that wasn't a Steve Hogarty special. But no, next week yeah. is a John Blaz special. It's a John Blaz special. And hopefully by that point we'll have raised at least £500 for Log's amazing erotic fiction. It's going to happen. Or the Velociraptor Fund. Thank you very much for listening. We'll be here next week. Bye. 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 Bye.